body's uh, communication with the various parts of the body communicating through pressure. And pressure, by the way, can produce both levity and gravity. Because, like, for example, when the, when the upward portion of cells are pressed, it creates a sensation of levity. When you feel lightheaded, it's because basically the oxygen in your brain is producing this pressure. And you feel lightheaded, right? And that's, we used to call the, there were certain Kriyas that we would call blackout Kriyas. And you would, hmm. This is way back when. Um, we would do them just to get to that stage. Have you ever had that stage where you're suddenly, Ooh, you know, that's a lightheaded sensation, mm -hmm. right? And the clarity that comes and the aftermath of that sensation is just like, oh, yes? Mm -hmm. They did send me to the right room. <laughs> so this diaphragm has, right here in the back, it's got the kidneys, and then right above them is the adrenals, and then right above that, is the diaphragm, and then right above that is the lungs. And that relationship of kidneys to the water in your body, the adrenals, the diaphragm being supple, and the bottom of your lungs is one of the key relationships in Kundalini Yoga. Because in Kundalini Yoga, by breathing diaphragmatically, we're actually breathing in the lower one-third of our lungs. And the lower one-third of our lungs has seven times the osmotic power, the osmotic capacity, the capacity of osmosis of putting oxygen into the blood than any other part of your lungs because every other part of your lungs is what's used all the time. But this down here is deep and rich and ready to work for you. Not only does it have that, sensate, that capacity of osmosis, but that's the way in which the, the, um, the pure water from your colon is effervesced into your kidneys, purified even further, and then effervesced up through your adrenals. It picks up a little bit of the adrenaline and the cortisol, the cortisol in the, in the adrenals, and moves up through the membranes, through the um, diaphragm, into the lower lungs, and that's how you rehydrate your blood. So this lower one-third of your lungs is producing ox maximum oxygen in your blood and also maximum hydration in your blood, which means that your blood is going to circulate more readily. So right where you are, you're going to come like this and make sure that you don't punch anybody with your foot, right? And we're going to do inhale, exhale. And what you're working here is the, the glutes, the back, the lower back, which is your kidneys, your adrenals, and it's hinging off your diaphragm. 